First things first. After you've removed Orba from the box, you may want to plug it in using the included USB-C cable connected to any USB power source and give it a chance to charge. This little device traveled a long way to get to you. It may be a bit tuckered out. This is also a good time to update your firmware to make sure your Orba is up to date with all the newest features and in tip-top shape. To do this, you'll want to connect to a Mac or Windows computer using your USB-C cable and make sure your Orba is turned on. Download the Orba app from Artifon.com or your preferred app store. Open the app and it will automatically prompt you to update your Orba, or you can always update from the settings menu by clicking Firmware Update. This icon will be grayed out if you're already running the most current version of the firmware. Wait just a moment, and you're ready to go. There's no need to wait for Orba to charge. You can play with the cable plugged in. Just like that, you're making sound. Orba comes packed with hundreds of fun and interesting sounds, and now would also be a great time to explore some of those. Just click or tap on the image in the center of your screen and start experimenting. I played that one a little bit. Ooh, party! I love Dark Horn. It's like if church were in space. Next up, we'll take a closer look at the anatomy of Orba and go over the function of each pad.